Hello everyone. Thank you for checking out this video and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we will be sharing how to use the Autodesk Viewer, which is a free online tool designed to facilitate the viewing and sharing of design files, particularly those created using Autodesk software. But before we start our tutorial, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Thank you. Let's start from Google search and type Autodesk Viewer. Select the one on top of the result, Autodesk Viewer, Free Online File Viewer. In the Autodesk Viewer page are the features of what you can do. If we scroll down, here are the files that are supported, then a preview of a commented drawing. And it can be used on any device. Let's go back up here then select Learn More. From this pop-up window is the list of supported 2D and 3D formats that you can upload into the Autodesk Viewer. It's around 70 plus formats that includes non-Autodesk products. Autodesk Viewer is a free, web-based application that allows users to view, share, and collaborate on 2D and 3D design files with some key features and functionalities such as file compatibility, accessibility, collaboration tools, and ease of use. Now we are going to create an account. Let's select the Sign Up for Free button located in the upper right corner of the page. Next, fill in the required information to start creating your account. After you've completed the form, click the Create Account button. Following that, you will need to verify your email. Open your email inbox, locate the verification email, and click on Verify Email. Now, we will be directed to the Autodesk Viewer page. On this page, we can either drag and drop our files or select the Upload option. If we choose the Upload File, we have the option to drag and drop, browse for files, or browse for folders. For this exercise, we'll use the drag and drop method. Simply select your file and drag it onto the page. Once uploaded, we'll be prompted to upload more files. For this exercise, let's select Done Adding Files and wait for the upload to complete. There you go. The model is now uploaded. We can rotate and explore the 3D model from here. The Views Palette in Autodesk Viewer is a key tool for managing and navigating different perspectives of 3D models and 2D drawings. It displays a list of preset views, such as sheets already set in your model, along with thumbnail previews for easy identification. This palette also includes options for plans, elevations, and sections, facilitating efficient navigation and analysis. Let's return to the 3D view to demonstrate some useful features for exploring the model more effectively. Right-click on the glass panel and select Section, then choose Section Plane. This action creates a section cut in the model, allowing you to see internal details that might otherwise be obscured. You can manipulate the section plane using the yellow arrow, which lets you adjust the position and angle of the cut dynamically. This feature is particularly valuable for examining complex geometries or understanding the relationships between different components of your design. During a Zoom meeting, this capability can enhance discussions and presentations by providing a clear view of the model's internal structures, enabling real-time analysis and feedback. You can also move the section plane interactively, allowing collaborators to ask questions and explore specific areas in detail making it a powerful tool for effective communication and decision-making. 
Another useful feature in Autodesk Viewer is the section box, which allows you to isolate specific elements in your model for a more focused examination. By creating a section box, you can effectively slice through the model, highlighting only the parts of interest, such as a particular wall or door. This is especially helpful when you want to understand how different components interact within a space. If you want to reset your view after using the section box, simply press Cancel on your keyboard. This quickly reverts the model back to its original state, allowing you to explore other features without any lingering changes. Additionally, you can check the properties of specific elements, like this door, by selecting Show Properties. This will provide you with detailed information, such as dimensions, materials, and other specifications. Understanding these properties is crucial for design validation and helps in ensuring that all elements meet project requirements. This feature enhances your ability to make informed decisions and facilitates effective collaboration during reviews or presentations. When sharing this model with your staff, engineers, or clients, you can leave comments to highlight issues or request updates effectively. To do this, simply select the element you wish to comment on such as the wall, then click the Comments button located above. This action will generate a thumbnail of the selected element, allowing you to write your comment directly below it. Once you've entered your feedback, just click Post to share your insights. This streamlined process not only facilitates clear communication, but also ensures that all relevant parties can easily track and address specific concerns within the model. Another effective way to explore the model is through the model browser, which displays a comprehensive list of model categories. By selecting a specific category, you can isolate it in the 3D view, causing the rest of the model to become transparent. This feature allows for a clearer focus on the selected elements, making it easier to analyze details and relationships within the model without distractions. The Settings menu allows you to customize your viewing experience. You can adjust view settings, such as visual styles and background colors, and personalize navigation controls for easier movement through models. It also lets you optimize model performance for large files, manage annotations and markups for collaboration, and enable measurement tools for precise calculations. Additionally, there are accessibility options and file management settings to enhance usability and organization. Overall, these settings help you tailor the viewer to your specific needs. Using the Share button, you can generate a shareable link to the model that remains active for 30 days, allowing others to view it without needing an Autodesk account. This feature is especially useful for quickly sharing with clients or colleagues. Simply click the Copy button to copy the link, and then send it to your intended recipients. On the Design Views page, you can see the projects or files loaded into Autodesk Viewer. However, since this is a free online platform, note that each file has a 30-day expiration. You can extend the files after they expire. The Owned by Me feature provides easy access to models created by the user. The Shared with Me function allows users to view and interact with models shared by others. Together, these features streamline workflows, facilitate effective collaboration, and ensure alignment during discussions. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, we explored Autodesk Viewer, a powerful, free web based tool for viewing, sharing, and collaborating on 2D and 3D design files. We walked through how to create an account, upload files, and utilize key features like section cuts and comments for enhanced collaboration. Don't forget to check out the various supported file formats customize your viewing experience, and explore the handy sharing options to streamline your workflow. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more design tips and tutorials. Happy designing, and see you in the next tutorial!